What's up guys and welcome back to Planet Zoo. We are back here with our uh, our new zoo that we created and uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it so far. The only problem we have going on is our money situation, which actually we we're about to hit a profit. Hold on a second. We're about negative a dollar a minute. Oh shoot, it's, it's going back up. It's, it's kind of... It's it's riding the line there, but we definitely need to add more animals to the zoo to make people a little more excited and, and bring in the big bucks. So what we're going to do here today is we are going to be adding an ostrich enclosure. So luckily, I'm not sure how it works, but if we take a look at our animal care center, you guys can see we have a ton of ostriches already in here, already good to go. I mean, I... I Guess it's left over from our last two. I didn't think it transferred like that, but we're gonna take it. That way we don't have to buy anything new or waste any more money. So let's go ahead and put this on pause and uh, we're gonna build ourselves an ostrich enclosure. So first let's go to our Zoopedia. We're gonna look, is it common ostrich? Yeah, common ostrich. So we're gonna need 675 square meters of space, grade two fence, and, uh, and, and that's about it. Group size, typically one to two. And you want one male per seven females, so I, I guess we're gonna we're gonna count on that for now. Let's go ahead and build the uh, the enclosure over here. I think is what we kind of decided on. I just realized this path is like not not perfect. So let me let me fix this. I'm a bit OCD and I really want to make sure we take care of our zoo well here. So boom, there it is. That that looks a lot nicer right there. So all right, we've got that. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to set up the ostrich enclosure so people can kind of walk back this way a little bit. We actually, we could probably extend it just a little bit. We don't want it to be this long though. Let's reduce the length. Let's extend it a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is um, build like some, some bushes and stuff at the end here. So that way people can go back here. They can see the backside of the warthogs or they can see the ostrich enclosure as well. So let's, let's go ahead and grab some nature here. I think we used this. Yeah, let's use this. And we're just gonna set up some some cattails here at the end so that people can't really see over into the employee area over there, which, uh, which looks good. All right, so now 675 square meters. Again, I think we're gonna go with the glass enclosure. Best chance for people to be able to see what's going on. Run it along here, and then we're gonna kind of expand it a little bit. I don't know exactly how much 600 square meters is, but I'm gonna imagine it's, it's fairly large. I guess that, how big is this one? 836 square meters. Okay, yeah, I, I guess this is this is probably gonna be good for our little ostrich enclosure here. So we're gonna kind of close it up just like that, and then we can worry about the inside. So let's set up a habitat gate here. We're just gonna put it right like that. Looks good, and then we can grab a uh, we can grab a staff path and run this to the gate just like uh, like so. I guess that doesn't look too bad. All right. So now we have a habitat here. How big is it? 1320 so we're looking pretty good there. I actually I, I want to try let's let's try something interesting here before we actually get the ostriches in there Which I think we might have to raise the the fence height a little bit. Let me go back to paths Let's go in here and I'm gonna set a new path, but I'm gonna see let's let's raise this bad boy Let's actually set it a little bit closer a little bit closer to the ledge here So we're gonna go ahead and raise this bad boy Maybe even a little bit more than that it's obstructed. I think we're too close to the fence. Boom, just like that. And then we could uh, we could kind of lower this out a little bit. Oh shoot, didn't mean to do that. Can we make this go straight? I don't think we can make it go straight. Let's increase the length though. But I'm gonna see here if we could have kind of like a a cool little overhang. But yeah, that way people could people could go up and they could kind of look down on the ostriches. I feel like that could be a really cool little viewing angle and maybe we can get something else over here that looks looks pretty nice as well. But I, I feel like that's that's pretty solid. Um, let's go ahead and I, I, I mean, I guess let's start moving these guys in here. So I think we've got a couple that are starting to grow up a bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some some females in here. I'm starting with four females. We might be able to add some more in the meantime, but uh, I kind of want to I want to make sure that we get these four rolling together first. We're definitely going to want to want to hire a new ooh, ooh, research is done. We're going to need to hire a new a new vet to keep doing research. So let's go staff here. We're going to hire a new veterinarian. We're going to put them over here just like so. 
and then we're gonna want to hire probably another caretaker and probably another keeper and then I guess let's hire a mechanic as well shoot I'm a little bit worried that we're starting to get ahead of ourselves but we'll we'll see what happens so we're gonna hire all those those look good let's get uh, if we come into our zoo so we're gonna take a look at our, our vet research we're gonna get a second vet we're gonna get them on, on ostrich info as soon as we can. And then we also need to build a workshop for our mechanic, boom. So we've got a workshop and then now we should be able to come in here. We're gonna be able to make our mechanic work on like new themes, transports, food shops. I feel like food shops are important. Whoa, did that not work? Zoo, mechanic research, there it is. All right, so she's working on some food shops, looks good. So we've got these baby ostriches in here. Um, nutrition, they need better meals, their social's good, their habitat is pretty, pretty good. We're obviously going to make this a, a lot prettier, but let's, let's at least start with our terrain. So we're going to come in here, we're going to paint some, uh, some short grass. Let's make some more intensity and bigger size. So get that in there, and then maybe a little bit of soil. Uh, maybe a, a little, a little bit of rock, and then maybe a little more short grass. Alright, looks, looks good to me. Now we need, uh, obviously we need food, we need to pretty it up and, and make it look good. So that's, that's what we're going to work on. I'm going to go ahead and pause this for now. Let's take a look at our, our common ostrich here and see what we have going on. So we know they also like the habitat bedding. They like the shelters. They like the, the water and the food, food bowls here. So what we're going to do is, shoot, it kind of stinks. I guess, I guess we'll put the water over here. The, the gate is pretty far from the water and food, but that's, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I just want people to be able to see a little bit better. So we've got some food there. Do they actually need the shelter? Let me, let me take a look here. It's, it says they're good on hard shelter, which is weird because they aren't actually good on hard shelter. But I, I guess, I guess that's okay. Shoot, we are, we are really in the negative. I'm, I'm hoping we didn't mess up here. I'm hoping we have, have animals that can pull some weight. Let's put a, um, here, let's, let's work on this a little bit. We need marketing, we need conservation, we need more education, we need a, a little bit more of everything. Let me grab some facilities here. I'm gonna grab, uh, I'm gonna grab this. We're gonna put this, we're gonna put this, this right here to talk about the warthogs. Let's make sure we turn it on to the warthogs. And then we could buy a second one. We could put this one right here to talk about the uh, the common ostriches. Then we're definitely gonna want a uh, a nice little donation box right next to that. Did that work? Yeah, it's on the common ostrich. Oh, does this not does this not have power? Let me. Ch oh, we don't have power over there. Shoot. We could put a, a transformer. Oh shoot, it's really dark. We could put a transformer over here and set this up on this staff path back here. And that way, uh, that way, that should get power to that. Nice. So we've got that. We need we need people to get down this way. Are they going to start coming this way? It looks like they actually they might. Okay, that's good. We just, dude, we need this money to go up. These are baby ostriches, people. Come on, they're so cute. You're supposed to want to come in here and give me all your money. What in the world? I'm wondering if it's better to go with adults. Oh shoot, dangerous animal escaped. How, dude, how are these babies always escaping? Oh, this is, this is not good. I'm gonna bring it up to four meters. Hopefully, hopefully that works a little bit better. I'm not sure if that's the issue. These guys always seem to be escaping out of the, the glass. It was happening in our, our last one too. So I think we need to make this look a little bit more beautiful and I wanna do some sort of a cool little thing in here as well. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do, but uh, we're, we're gonna go for it. So we got our baby ostrich back in. Let's, um. oh, look at this. We've got people going up top. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted them to be able to look down in and see these things right, right firsthand. You know what I mean? We're still looking at a profit. Let's go. I'm wondering, I mean, we could, could we put, um, we put a little donation box right here and then maybe a, another educational speaker. We could put it right like that. And then we could put this as the common ostrich. That's what I'm talking about. Good stuff. Why does it keep, dude, these are not, Dangerous animals. How do they keep getting out? I don't understand. I really don't understand. This one little ostrich keeps getting out of here. Do we need to make the fence even bigger? Also, it's a baby ostrich. Can we not freak out and leave the zoo people? Like this is this is not 
Oh my gosh, what are you talking about? Eight meter glass fence. There's no way, right? There's no way they're gonna get out of that. Did we, oh, this is not good. We're losing money hand over fists. I mean, our, our upkeep currently is, is not bad. Our income is more than our upkeep, but we've just, we've, we've gotta be careful here. The thing is, is when these things get loose, everybody runs out of the park and it takes a little bit for him to come back. So then the, it's just lost revenue and it's it's just, it's not, it's, uh, it's, it's not good. And then like you guys could see these keepers have to run all the way around to grab them and then all the way back to get them back in the pen. So hopefully, Hopefully we can get this under control, but yeah, we want to uh, we want to pretty this up a little bit make this look nice I mean are they happy? Their enrichments bad. We're currently investigating that we're currently researching that So hopefully we can continue to, to figure that stuff out dude. He escaped again. I We're we're gonna run out of I, I don't know what else to say, but we're like this we're, we're gonna lose this the ostriches just keep getting out I, I don't know what else to do. I how are you supposed to contain these things? I'm gonna try a, a chain link fence, maybe? Is that is that hopefully gonna work a little bit better? Um, I'm not entirely sure. I feel like this shouldn't be this big of a problem. Hopefully that's gonna actually stop them. These these little things just don't, they don't, they don't quit. <laughs> they just keep leaving and we're gonna run out of money, dude. And we had another one escape. Dude, I, I don't, I honestly don't know what to do. I'm not sure how to handle this. This doesn't make any sense that these guys are getting out. It, it, I, I don't get it. I think what I'm gonna have to do here is I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna get some adult ostriches because I haven't had the issue with adults before, weirdly enough. Um, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna buy three adult ostriches, and we're just gonna put all the little babies back into uh, back into to their trade centers. I I feel bad, but I I don't I don't think we have any other options at this point. Like if these guys keep escaping. This is just, I, we're, we're gonna be screwed. Like we're, we're gonna run out of money and our zoo's gonna have to close. Now before we do anything, we do wanna make sure we don't run into the same problem that we've had before. We're gonna go to our animals. We're gonna take a look at our ostriches. And um, we, are, we are definitely going to give all the females birth control. Let's just make sure all of them are all, all birth controlled up. So we aren't gonna have any more babies. We aren't gonna have to worry about that. You can't get rid of the babies. Like if you, if you come in here, you guys can see like if we take a look at some of these babies, like I, I don't want this thing. We can't do anything with them. We can move them, but we can't get rid of them. You should, you should be able to send them to another zoo or something. If, oh shoot, this guy's gonna cause problems. I can already tell. Grab him, ship him off. Now, unfortunately, from what I can see, ostriches don't really like all that much in terms of coverage and stuff. Like, I'm, I'm trying to look at actual enclosures for these animals to get ideas of what we can throw in. They like the grassland biome, but they really don't like many plants or much coverage. So I don't know that there's going to be a whole lot that we can do here to, uh, to, to kind of make it pretty. We could add a little bit of water like we did in the last one. I mean, water's water's always good. I'm thinking we, you know, kind of add add a few reeds in here, kind of like you would have along the edge of a pond. But I also don't want to get it too too crazy because obviously people want to be able to see, so we don't want to get it in the way of that. We could kind of add a, a little bit of color in there, I guess. I don't know. Like these these guys are kind of hard. Like we're already almost at the point where they don't want any more coverage, so it it makes it it makes it kind of kind of difficult to pretty it up like we this is pretty much pretty much all that they want right here so i i mean i i guess we kind of leave that there i mean it's kind of why are these guys fighting why are they upset hold on a second are they upset or are they just being no they're fine it's just two females going after it yeah that's that's whatever so yeah i mean i feel a little bit bad but there's not really much else much else that we could do. Got some more vet research complete. As we do better with enrichment and stuff, then we can definitely make these animals happier and I think we're gonna make a bit more money, but I, I feel like we're actually in a pretty good spot. As soon as we got rid of those babies, I've, I've felt a lot more confident. So I just added a couple of ATMs here. Obviously that's gonna be important. It looks like we have children operating them. I'm not really sure how they're getting money out of an ATM, but uh, I'm thinking we start to add kinda just some, some random little things here. So like, I think we should have a recycling bin and a, uh, a, a garbage bin 
all over the place just like that so like if you come in you get some food you can drop it off on your way out and then maybe like have another couple down here or something just to make sure that we keep the park clean i think people will appreciate the fact that we have uh you know various places to make sure that we're we're staying clean and healthy and everything else it looks like we are making money now which is good but i, I want to set up like some sort of a tree and mulch and and then have like a I don't I don't know dude like a sign or something some plants coming out of it just make it look really nice I'm not sure so I'm gonna start with these slightly smaller ones make sure we get it along the ledge we can just go ahead and keep putting it like this now that we have the edges line we can kind of move to some slightly bigger ones just to make sure that we get this all uh, all mulched up nice and now we can add kind of a little tree design thing like I, I kind of like these plants these things are pretty cool I feel like so we could add some of those. Let's get a, a giant tree though. We could go, probably not another baobab. Oh, actually this is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do another baobab. Obviously we're here in the uh, in the grassland, so we wanna keep a, a nice common theme going here. So we've got that. I may add, just for the, the, the sake of making it look nice, I may add some slightly different stuff here though. I just wanna add a little bit of, little bit of flavor, a little bit of color. Ooh, we've got vines and stuff. That's pretty cool. I just I want it. I want it to look nice I don't know something something like that. Maybe like I, I feel like that looks that looks pretty good It's not necessarily plants you would find exactly in this region, but it's it's still kind of cool Like it, it, it looks better than just having empty grass there. So I, I like it. I feel like we did pretty well there Now these guys are still not looking good on food or toy enrichment. So let's take a look here. I'm pretty sure we've had quite a bit of research go through. So I'm gonna switch this up. We're gonna go to uh, to species. We're gonna look for the common warthog and we, st dude, we still have no enrichment. What's going on with that? How come we, let me take a look here. We are researching the warthog, right? Looks like somebody decided to take a break. We should have a ton of enrichment available at this point. There's another warthog research complete there. And we're going to keep working. Like, we've almost mastered it. I don't know if this is glitched or what. We still don't have any enrichment. Hold on. Let me let me see if I can, if I can Google this. Forage box, mud bath, or rubbing pad are going to be the toys that they want. We've got a rubbing pillar. We don't have a rubbing pad or a mud box or anything like that yet. I, I don't... I feel like something's wrong here. All right, we have maxed out the warthog research. We should have, oh, hello. It looks like we did actually, we found some new stuff. Warthog, let's go. Forage box, mud bath, and a sprinkler. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we're gonna add the mud bath in here. I wanna get it in a spot where people are gonna be able to see. So I guess we could put it like right here. Can we put a sprinkler in the mud bath? I'm gonna put it, oh, nope, it's obstructed. So I'll put a, I'll put a sprinkler right here. Looks nice. So we've got a sprinkler, a mud bath. I feel like this got pretty ugly all of a sudden, adding these giant things in there, but I guess that's okay. Let's come back over here. We're gonna take a look at our common ostrich. We're gonna add in a sprinkler. Looks like they like sprinklers. So I'll put this guy over here and uh, forage box. I guess we could put a, a forage box over here if it lets us all right so if we take a look at our zoo here and take a look at our animals everybody should be pretty happy minus the the little guys that are in captivity but uh, all of our actual ones that were like out here taking care of are all very very happy so uh, boom there you guys have it i mean we've got a pretty good looking zoo we're making some money here and uh, things are uh, things are off to a great start. So I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. I think it's going to be time to get a new animal, build a new habitat. We're going to have some fun with it. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.